Marvell launched a new DPU based on Octeon 10 and threw a little five nanometer action in there. A little, Pat. I mean, come on. That is the news. I mean, you know, <laughs> the company basically invented the DPU. I, you know, there might be some argument here. Wasn't necessarily the fastest to get the, the marketing nomenclature correctly, but in terms of doing it, uh, Matt Murphy, another great uh, part of our 6.5 Summit this year, CEO there, has turned this company around. We've talked about that here. In fact, watch the session. We really talk about it there. But the DPU space, and essentially for those not totally familiar, it's you know, it's it's about building silicon to offload certain work that the general purpose CPUs have been doing that isn't most efficient for them to do. So you're offloading things like networking and storage. Uh, and Marvell has been really leading in this space. So the Octeon 10, you know, is basically all about accelerating, um, helping process the, the whole spectrum, security, networking, storage workloads. And, and really the company's focus here is 5G, cloud, carrier, and the data center, which are big booming businesses, um, you know, and the ability to shift off, uh, you know, these workloads uh, more, more efficiently. So Pat, as you said, five nanometer here, well, listen, this is huge. You know, the goal of this next, uh, of the Octeon 10 is three times performance, 50% lower power consumption, uh, and it's taking advantage of the ARM Neoverse N2 five nanometer process. And Pat, I believe it's the first DPU to do this. Um, you know, it's got, uh, you know, hardware acceleration, it's got integrated terabit switch, uh, vector packet processing accelerators. So, I mean, this thing is essentially loaded to the gills with features and function. And as I see it, and I'll say it, Pat, the thing that gets me excited is Marvell continues to push the envelope here. They're pushing the envelope. They're challenging, you know, uh, I'll give uh, Jen San Huang, an another guest of our event, by the way, everybody came to the summit, Pat, you know, a lot of credit for, for nailing the architecture of the DPU, but I want to also give Marvell a lot of credit for actually building these products, getting them into market and being side by side with these big silicon makers, these cloud providers, 5G, automotive, building what is necessary to make our CPUs more efficient and just understanding exactly, another company that by the way understands exactly where they belong, is building out products and services to win there. And that's why I was so excited. I was so excited, in fact, Pat, that I actually gave Marvell a quote in their press release this week about the Octeon 10 launch because, um, and I don't just give those away, you know, I've got to be really excited and I really think the company is nailing it in this DPU space. Yeah, I, all good analysis, Daniel. And I guess the only thing I'll add is that just kind of to reinforce the architecture of the data center is disaggregating, right? There was a day that server storage networking and security was all kind of packed into one place. And in order to get uh, the scale up capabilities and to be able to um, more easily jockey between different types of applications uh, requires disaggregation. And, you know, we see it in storage, right? SAN, intelligent SAN and NASAs that have acceleration uh, like Aqua uh, on, on AWS. Uh, the other part is 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 networking, and uh, you're 100 percent accurate that um, Marvell created the DPU uh, as an appliance, uh, and then uh, I, I think AWS perfected it. But if you're not AWS and haven't spent 10 years and acquired a company like Annapurna to do to do uh, increasing offloads, who are you going to turn to? You're going to turn to Marvell uh, in, yep. in the cloud. Uh, if uh, the enterprise, not to be confused with NVIDIA, who's really going after the, the enterprise GPU um, uh, market, but uh, they, they continue to, to move forward. One of the things, like you said, that didn't get enough uh, credit was this is using TSMC's five nanometer uh, process and also uh, ARM's uh, latest um, server chip which you could run general purpose on that from a second standpoint right now, at least on paper, haven't seen this yet, is higher spec in than, than any chip from Intel or, or AMD. Now, this is not supposed to do general purpose computing. I understand that because it's a DPU, but a uh, way to put a massive compute engine 
uh, on the edge, and I'm I'm looking forward to hey beyond maybe uh, security, uh, DNS or 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 things uh, like that. What else could they uh, do here? Well, I mean they did add uh, their own uh, unique machine learning engine, uh, yeah. which which is, is is pretty cool. But anyways, uh, great stuff, great chip analysis here. Gotta be love chips. <laughs> 